Hi, Sarah. Thanks for your question. Um, we don't factor prime numbers. Prime numbers aren't factorable. Um, but if we're going to do a prime factorization of the number 15,872, the easiest way to do it um, would be to notice that this is an even number since it ends in 2, and just keep trying to divide out small integers as much as possible. I always start by trying to divide out 2. So if we divide 2 out of 15,872, we will get 7,936. If we multiply both of these together, we get back where we started. This also ends in an even number, so it is an even number, and it's divisible by 2 again. So let's divide 2 out of 7,936. And if we do that, we get 3,968. And if we multiply that by 2, we get back where we started. This is also another even number. So let's try dividing that one by 2 as well. 3,968 divided by 2 is 1984. If we multiply that by 2, we get back where we started. We got another even number, so let's keep going. If we divide this by 2, what we will get is 992. Multiplying that by 2, we will get back where we started. We got another even number, so this is going to go on, well, until we get to a prime number. If we divide 992 by 2, we will get 496. Multiply that by 2 to get back where we started. Divide this one by 2, and we get 248. You can see a general pattern that's developing here. Let's divide 248 by 2 to get 124. And again, we have another even number. So let's divide it by 2 until we don't get a number that we can divide anything out of. I thought I was gonna run out of paper. Okay, so at the very, very bottom of this very crooked factor tree, you can see that I have the terms 31 divided by two that I got when I divided 62 by two. Um, 31 is a prime number. So it is not divisible by any number except one and itself. So that means whoops, that our original number, 15,872, is equal to 31 times all these twos I have. Let's count how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 twos. So 2 to the ninth. And that's your prime factorization of the number 15,872. You can see it's called that because we only actually use prime numbers in the basis. So thanks again for your question. That was a fun one. I look forward to answering more of your questions using Snap Math in the future.